6.6 million Americans have been infected with the virus since the pandemic began. New data shows a surge in the number of positive COVID-19 cases in Hamilton County is not slowing. Genesis Narrows tells us what is being done to deal with it. And as I read the numbers, my heart just sinks. The numbers don't lie. The number of positive COVID-19 cases in Hamilton County now stand at more than 5,000. There are 703 hospitalizations and 198 people who contracted the disease have died. The question is not whether businesses will close again. The question is, how can we all work together to keep them open? She reminds people of the basics, washing your hands, staying socially distant and wearing a mask. I think it's really important to be proactive in this kind of whatever we're doing. Molly Wellman, owner of Japson Over the Rhine, is closing her bar for a few days after a customer called to say they were experiencing symptoms of COVID-19. You know, a, a bar and a restaurant, they're, they're designed for people to gather. Which is why she wishes masks would be mandated to be worn in public. Working in the industry that I do and seeing so many people come in and not having that protective covering really makes me very nervous. Given the uptick in county numbers, why is the county not yet requiring people to wear masks? A general health district cannot make a rule for uh, masking here at the county level. We would look to the state of Ohio to make a rule in, in our jurisdiction. As we prepare for a holiday weekend, there is even more concern given the surge in numbers. County leaders are asking people to keep their distance, even if you're with family members. It's really important to continue to not let our guard down. Genesis Neros, Local 12 News. Pre-testing continues in Forest Park today and tomorrow, then North College Hill, Delhi, and Coleraine next week. You can find a full list on Local12.com. Hours are 1 to 7 each day. And here's a look at where the numbers stand around our region today. Ohio has almost 1,100 more positive cases than yesterday for a total of almost 52,900 overall and 2,876 deaths. Cases in the Commonwealth of Kentucky stand at more than 15,600, 565 of them fatal. Indiana reports an increase of almost 400 cases in a day. Almost 46,000 people have tested positive in the state and 2,456 have died. 